Bonjour and welcome to the Tower of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing your daily tower reading for Thursday the 4th of November. I hope you're doing well and that you've had a good first half of your week. These are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody, so take what applies directly to your situation and discard the rest. If the message doesn't resonate, it's just not your message today. So what are the energies for Thursday? the 4th of November okay so you have the sacral chakra um, this is to do with your um, creativity and your sensuality. This is the second chakra. It's the chakra of pleasure. And then I'm going to take a second energy, just randomly, a card that calls me. This one does. Choose wisely. Okay, card number seven, the card of experience, assessment, knowledge and it's asking you to choose wisely and there's a lot of water in the background so it's saying to be careful of your emotions all right so i'm going to do a celtic cross spread to um, delve in more depth for this message so what is this decision that we have to make what crosses you, what's beneath you, what's above you, what's behind you, what's ahead of you. Sorry, I've just realized I'm not very centered. The advice, environment, hopes and fears, outcome. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. Put it right here. Okay, so in the near past, you, you've just had the tower, which is a major arcana. Um, major arcanas are uh, very important energies on your life path, on your progression, and the tower is a sudden abrupt change. Um, people tend to see it as a um, you know, an alarming card, I, I don't. It just brings you a change that needed to happen. Sometimes the tower occurs when we were too slow in making the change ourselves because, you know, we can all be a bit resistant to change. Um, and so the universe, God, or your spirit team um, decides to shake thing, things up a little bit and uh, they send you a tower moment. So this is in your um, near past. In the middle you have the Five of Swords because currently you are in the Five of Swords frame of mind. That's all to do with your intellect, communication, truths and five is a number of change and challenges. So you can tell by just looking at the picture that um, it, it's not nice. You may have had some news given to you, some truths, some harsh words may have been said to you and it is challenging to process. Um, but as I said, it's a number of change and overcoming the challenge. So um, this is where you're at at the moment. And I'm assuming this is coming from, obviously, that tower moment that just recently happened. And what's stopping you from um, moving forward at the moment is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is the card of legacy. Pentacles coins um, are the um, suit of your physical environment. So we're talking home life, work life. 
um, and 10 being the completion, this is you having worked hard and having established yourself and having a legacy to leave behind. It's the stability card. I mean, you can see she lacks for nothing. Um, she's got a big castle behind her. Everything is beautiful in the world. And this is blocking you from moving forward. Um, so I don't know, maybe you are worried about leaving all of this stability and all of this hard work behind. As I said, it could be either in a relationship or at work as well. It could be, you know, something happened at work um, and you don't, you don't know what to do. You, you feel really challenged by it and you don't want to leave what you've already worked so hard to establish and have under your belt at work. Or it could be at home. It could be something unpleasant and was revealed to you about your family home, a relationship, something. And um, you're not acting because you, you don't want to rock the boat. You want to keep things as they are because in appearances they were very good, stable and um, abundant. In your subconscious you have the um, King of Wands. Wands is a suit of passion, of um, what drives you, what really ignites you. And the King is the master of the suit. So the King is knowledge. He's someone, the King of Wands is someone who's a go-getter, he has charisma, um, he knows what he wants and will not stand still and let an opportunity go past him, basically. And this is what's going on in your subconscious. So it could be someone that's on your mind that's like that kind of person. Um, or it's you wanting to um, represent those characteristics of being a go-getter, of being very sure of yourself and, and you know, going for things when you are uh, paralyzed at the moment because you don't, you, you don't know what to do to overcome that Five of Swords. In your aspirations, you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knights um, bring changes. Um, offers because they are action takers. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, a knight who's uh, very reliable, uh, who works hard to get things done, but it's it's um, more of a slow energy, I would say, the Pentacle energy, because it comes from, you know, having to work hard, um, which is not a bad thing. So your aspirations are for things to change if you, if you work at them. Um, which I think is a very good card to have as far as um, goals and aspirations are because it's not outlandish. You know that you're going to have to work for things and stay the course and this is what you're hoping for, that things are going to move if you do things like this. Because in the near future you've got the King of Pentacles. So actually, in the near future, you're going to be getting even better than what you hoping for. You're hoping for a knight, but the near future is bringing you a king, so the master. The king of pentacles is someone who is incredibly stable, he's abundant, he knows how to provide for himself and his family, very reliable um, king, so it's some, something very good to have in the near future. So you're either going to um, embody the characteristic of that king or there's a king of pentacles coming your way in the near future who's going to help you um, gain the stability. I personally think it's going to be you. I think it's going to be you because subconsciously you want to be a king. It may not be the same king but I think you want to leave that challenging position you're in at the moment and it is evident that the stability is very important to you because you do have one, two, three, four cards with pentacles which shows a lot of, um, um, you know, your physical world is very important to you and a desire to have that stability. In the um, advice and recommendation you have the Page of Swords. Now pages either break, uh, bring you news or they indicate a new path. The Page of Swords could be a new way of thinking and I believe this is the message that I'm receiving here. Uh, because souls are to do with your intellect and your thoughts, the process, um, I believe that the cards are telling you to think in a different way, look at the situation from a different point of view, um, because it will help you move, moving forward and getting out of that Five of Swords energy. External influences, so your environment and people, you have the Ten of Wands. Now, ten is a number of completion. Wands, as I previously mentioned, are to do with uh, passion, what ignites you, that kind of thing. 
Um, and the Ten of Wands talks about a burden, you know, of being tired of carrying all of these wands because it's the end of the road. Um, and so there may be people who are burdening you, or there may be things that burden you. Now, if we think about what's blocking you, which is the Ten of Pentacles, I, I did mention that, you know, sometimes our stability, what we've worked so hard to get in life, can also stop us from moving forward because we don't want to turn our back on what we've worked so hard for. And so in your situation, environment, you have that burden is here again. And so uh, this is telling me that, um, you know, because the advice is to um, think of it in a different way, if you do think of it in a different way with the Page of Swords, you will be able to drop your wands and that burden and you'll feel much better. Because in your hopes and fears, you have the Nine of Pentacles. In your hopes, you want to be independent. You want to be able to um, stand on your own two feet, provide for yourself. Um, whether we're talking about a relationship or work, you want to be that person who's standing strong and doesn't feel that she needs you know, to have someone helping her all the time. And it does say in um, the beginning of the reading, the choose wisely, you're being torn, you're being blocked by your desire to keep um, the current level of stability that you have, but you, you know for a fact that you can't stay in that Five of Swords mood and, and you aspire to more, you, you want things to move forward with the Knight of Pentacles, um, you don't want things to stay as they are, so it is a question of making a decision and the outcome is the Three of Cups. Now bearing in mind you've got the Three of Wands over there for the bottom of the deck, that's the underlying energy. So that's two threes. Uh, threes are numbers of growth, the beginning of you know creativity, abundance. Um, it's, it's a very good number and the Three of Wands is you being in a in expectancy of you know what's going to come towards you um it's it's a very um positive environmental card um to have because it means you're going to see the beginning of growth um which is really interesting because you also have the three of cups uh, emotional growth celebration socializing um so you're seeing in the near future the King of Pentacles, who knows how to be stable and provide for himself, who has financial assets, um, all of that good stuff. And you're going to get emotionally, you're going to start feeling fulfilled. And, you, you know, you, as I said, you may be celebrating something, um, but that's the outcome. So you have to choose wisely, probably by thinking in a different way, so that you can move forward um, and go past that tower moment which has left you in in some kind of you know difficult um, position mentally um, and not be so bound to what you've already acquired is what I would say so whether we're talking about a long-term relationship and you know you're thinking I can't leave this behind because you know I've worked so hard on this relationship I'm worried about this or whether we're talking about a job where you've invested so much into that job um, and you have your reputation established already, um, but you know that because of what's happened, that tower moment, you can't stay. Do not let this block you. Um, you do have the King of Wands in your subconscious. You are perfectly capable of being that go-getter, very confident King uh, who can provide for himself. Um, and the outcome will be positive with the Three of Cups. So it's just a question of um, making a wise decision by probably not basing it too much on feelings, because if you look at it, aside from the um, Three of Cups, you do not have cups that represent emotions on this reading. It's all about uh, the coins and you know a couple of swords and wands. So it's more about be pragmatic, think differently, be pragmatic, assess the facts in order to move forward rather than um, rely on your emotions because it may well be that your sacral chakra is imbalanced you know and the sacral chakra is to do with pleasure with feelings sorry about my dogs 
um, feelings and uh, it may be imbalanced which is why you're finding it difficult to make that decision um, there are uh, meditation to recenter your, your chakras so you could tap that up and that could be of help there are also yoga practices that um, could help you to work on your sacral chakra so that it gets rebalanced uh, and this could be of help so I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me um, if any of it resonated or helped you in any way, please write it down in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. I have uploaded the monthly um, tarot readings according to each zodiac sign, so feel free to check those out if you enjoyed this reading. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Until next time, au revoir.